Fight! Win! Run! Excellent! <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. I've got my Nintendo Switch here, and something that has changed recently is that I have decided, controversially, to return to the world of buying physical packaged games. Games like Blaze Blue Cross Tag, I'd like to have them everywhere I go, and so I buy certain games. Since buying the Nintendo Switch, I kind of decided to test the waters with the digital only route. However, there were a few games that I wasn't com completely convinced that I would want to play forever. Games like Xenoblade 2, I've got Breath of the Wild, actually I can't show you Breath of the Wild because I'm actually lending it to a friend. I have a bunch of these physical games now, mostly because one, it also makes it easier to run a channel, so if you're interested interested in making your own YouTube video channel, then you may want to consider going physical because then after you buy the game and play it a little bit or do your reviews or whatever, you could pass it on to a friend who wants to play it more, you could sell it back to game shops or you could put it on eBay. There's a lot of things you can do with physical that won't be possible if the world goes all digital and most likely it will. This, But the reason I'm actually making today's video is actually because I've gone to the Pokemon Center, which is the name of the Pokemon shops that they have in Japan. I don't know how many, there's like maybe 10 or 11, maybe there's more in Japan. They're called Pokemon Center and they actually play the Pokemon Center music that you recognize from actually going to real Pokemon centers in the Pokemon games. Anyway, I didn't buy a whole lot. I was actually thinking of buying a phone case because I keep smashing my phone. But in the end, I ended up to buying one of these. Now, I thought this was quite interesting especially because I'm going the all physical route again. It's a, what does it say, push, push, push card case six for Nintendo Switch. It's officially licensed. The company that makes it, well, I don't actually know. It says Pokemon Center. I guess the, the company that makes it is Pokemon Center. I don't know who makes it for Pokemon Center. With the PS Vita, I was also all physical and I had tons of cartridges everywhere. But actually, one of the nice things I liked about my 3DS is I had a little card case. I'm looking for it now. I can't find it. I had a little card case that kept six 3DS games in it. And I would just put the six most played games in there because I don't really need to carry 50 Nintendo 3DS cartridges around with me. So. In this card case, hopefully I'll be able to conveniently bring around the most played Switch games that I play off most often and put them in this case. And it doesn't even need to open up. It looks like you just slide the cartridges in. So let's go ahead and unbox this push card case from the Pokemon Center in Japan. I'm gonna rip it open. Nice and simple unboxing. There's really nothing else going on here. I love when packaging is done in a ecologically friendly way so that I can put the cardboard on the floor where that goes now. So I can put the cardboard recycled in the recycling bin and put the plastic in the re plastic recycling without having to remove the sticky labels because obviously if you're gonna recycle plastic then when you send it to them either they're gonna have to pull the label off or they're just gonna not recycle it because they can't be bothered to remove the label. I don't actually know what happens at the recycling company. Anyway, Pokemon Center, kudos to you for making it easy to recycle. But this is the main event. This is the Nintendo Switch. It's a Pikachu themed Nintendo Switch card case. Fight, win, run, excellent. It's got a bunch of Pikachu designs. I love the neon colors. It's very, I love the color schemes these days for all the things that like, we got these bright neon colored controllers like the Joy-Cons, it's sort of, it's not just red, it's like a neon red, neon blue. I really like it. Anyway, let's go ahead and take the plastic off here. I know you like the plastic removal. Oh, it's even nicer than I thought. Check this out. So this is a fake, <laughs> it's got a fake little cartridge in here. On your Nintendo Switch, you can play Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switchception. That's kind of cute. I quite, I quite like that. This is actually quite good for display purposes. You could sick. <laughs> that's so cool. But that's not the point. This is the main event, the Nintendo Switch card case. It's got Pikachus on the front. It's got clear plastic on the back. But what's really cool, which I did not realize, is that it closes. I didn't know that this was a lid. So you can actually close it and make sure that things don't pop out accidentally. I figured it was strong enough that things wouldn't pop out accidentally anyway. Let's put some games in. There's another one. So let's put some of these games that I don't actually play into this card case. Now actually, probably today, I'm gonna bring this to the shop and sell it because I don't really want to play it anymore. I don't actually know why I didn't sell it when I went to the shops earlier. Maybe I thought I was gonna play it again. I'm not gonna play Xenoblade again. Anyway, let's put it into the card case. I guess I can slide it in the front slot like this. Oh, well that was easy. And to get it out, how do you get it out? 
<gasps> oh, what? That's not how I thought it works at all. I thought it was like a push it in, push it out type job, like an SD card. Actually, you push it in and then you press this button here. <laughs> and it pops out, that's so cute. I like that. When I push the card in, there's a little button that appears at the bottom. And if you push it again, pops out. That's so cute, I really like it. Now just for jokes, let's put three cartridges in. Mario Maker going into the card case like so. And actually, I've got a new game, which I haven't even played yet. This is Fire Emblem. I think it's called Three Houses out in the West. I have I've never really got heavily into Fire Emblem games, but I figured, hey, now's as good a time as any. And on the Discord, people were telling me that it's good fun, so why not? But I can't, I can't get it out of the packaging, which is an issue. Why isn't there like an easy way to open these yet? All right, got it out of the packaging. All I really wanted was this. This is the, oh. You get like a little card on the inside as well. What's this? It's like a playing card. Oh, it's for the, it's for the Fire Emblem card game, which I, I remember getting that with the 3DS game, but I never played it. Okay, so that's Fire Emblem. I'll play that in a separate video or something, but what we really wanted was this cartridge. So you can put it in the third slot. <laughs> and I don't, I don't really have any other cartridges, so this is the maximum for now. That's <laughs> so nice. And you can pop them back out by pressing the buttons like this. And actually, as you can see on the back, it's clear. So if I put the cartridges in here, the reverse way, you can actually see that, you can actually see these cartridges through the plastic in the back. So for the card, if you really want to know which games you've brought around with you, because on the front you can't really see because it's got Pikachu there. On the back, you can actually have them facing the clear side, or you, you have to really. And that will show you from the outside what games you're carrying around. And of course, close it up so it's nice and protected. There you have it, from the Pokemon Center, the Pikachu Fight Win Run Excellent 6 Nintendo Switch game card case, which works incredibly well. This works so much better than I thought because it's got these, these buttons. I thought it was gonna be just like an SD card and you just have to click it back out, but it's nice and secure. It's not falling out of the card case and when you want the games, you just press the buttons like so and they pop out. That is fantastic. Wow, I really, I really like this case now. I guess the only thing I'm not so keen on is that, you, you know, you'd have to just remember what games you got in the front because these front three, you can't actually see through this plastic. Can you actually, it doesn't look like it's easy to remove this sticker here. Maybe they have a clear version that doesn't have the Pokemon design on the front. If you want to know which three front games you've got with you, you actually have to press the button and actually pull them out and check. It's like, oh yeah, I've got Xenoblade 3 with me, stuff like that. But I think that's brilliant and it's really nice and compact if you compare it to the actual size of the Nintendo Switch itself. It's teeny! It's about the size of a Joy-Con, maybe a teensy bit wider and a little bit taller, but as you can see, adds very little bulk to your carrying size. If you're bringing around this in your purse, man bag, whatever, adding this is no big deal at all. I think it Oh hey, it's made by Hori. It actually says Hori there on the front. I don't know why it's, it doesn't seem to say that anywhere on the actual packaging of the product. So it's, it's made by Hori for the Pokemon Center, but, but on the packaging, it's really very, very not clear. Very, very not clear. It's not particularly clear that it's made by Hori on here. Ha! Fantastic. Well, Hori's a company that we've come to know and love for making all the cool accessories that we like. Anyway, just a quick video just to show you that I'm Moving back to the physical realm for my games, mostly because it's very convenient as a content creator, but also just because money-wise, there's just tons of games that I really don't play over time, especially games like, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to keep complaining about Xenoblade, it's just, it just wasn't the game for me. I understand that it got great reviews and people loved it, but I, I, I just cannot pick up games that are this long. <laughs> it's just a really long game, so I don't really have time to play. There's, it's also the, um, those little cat, those big rotund cat characters, they're like, ooh you, ooh you, I can't remember what they say, but I, I found them intensely, intensely annoying, so f probably for that reason alone, I stopped playing Xenoblade 2. Quick little video to show you this card case, hope you've enjoyed it, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share links and all that great stuff, and I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video.